Hello, Stuke here. Um, today I have a VR for Joe at Four Soft Corners. Um, if you haven't seen his site, which you probably have, he's a tremendous collector. Um, just a great site. He's putting some a bunch of sets together. He's starting to get into autographs. Um, you'll just see some wonderful collecting if you check out his site. And for his VR, he wants us to show cards of celebration. And of course, with me, I'm going to show a few other things um, with it, and I'm going to try and keep it Minnesota focused. And we'll start off with a 1965 All Star ticket stub. It's Sandy Koufax's only victory in an All Star game. And the Minnesota, it was played in Bloomington, Minnesota, and Harmon Killebrew hit a home run in the game. That's his 1971. Zuka baseball card. And that takes us to the that October 1965 game seven played in Minnesota. Sandy Koufax out goals. Jim Cott and wins game seven. Sandy's last victory in the World Series. Pitching performance as his last year, the Baltimore Orioles swept the Dodgers in four games. Next, we'll have the 1985 All-Star Game ticket stub. That was the first year of the Home Run Derby. I believe it was Jim Rice that won that year. And the All-Star program had a young player, 1985, named Kirby Puckett, who would go on to make history with the Minnesota Twins. These were cutout cards from the All-Star Game program. I believe 84, 85, and 86 had these in them. Or maybe it was 83, 84, 85, I'm not sure. Someone please let us know below. And next event is the 1987 World Series. And here's a ticket stub from Game 6. The Twins were down on three games to two. Big moment in that game was Kent Herbeck hitting a grand slam. There's an eight by ten of signed by Herbie. And uh, four years later, the Twins are back in the World Series playing against the Atlanta Braves. This is famous for Jack Morris's staying on the mound for, ex for an extra inning to win that game seven, but the biggest moment most Twins fans remember is this guy hitting walk-off homer in the 11th inning of game six. There's an autograph of Kirby. And I have a few other items of celebration, Minnesota based. Here's a 1970 Harmon Killebrew 500 home run commemorative mug. And they were giving these mugs away prior to Harmon hitting his 500th home run. And there's a list of the Six players in the home 500 home run club at the time. And here's a pin back from the 1981 Stanley Cup Finals. Minnesota North Stars versus the New York Islanders. The Islanders did win that series. They had a nice streak of winning the Stanley Cup. Here's a Kirby Puckett weekend ticket stub. There's three different ones. And this is shortly after his retirement because of glaucoma. There's a facsimile signature on there. And here we have uh, Paul Molitor, who later played with the Twins. This is his 3,000 hit. Ticket stub from Kansas City. 
Kansas City versus the Twins, 1996. And the last item is a person that was born in Minnesota. He grew up and played in Fargo and played for the Fargo Moorhead Twins and later broke uh, Babe Ruth's record for home runs in a season, hitting 61 home runs in the last 151 games of the season. In the back is just uh, 35 years since breaking the record. And these are plastic golf bag tags. There's a whole series of them that people collect. And I'll put a Forsoft Corners address down below. Thank, congratulations on is it 400 subs. That's, you're doing great, Joe. Thanks for the inspiration for the VR. And everybody, have a nice day. Thank you.